I just love Alpine just because uh, it's a nice, quiet community. It's that quiet sense of being away from everything, but being close enough where if you wanted to go to it, you could be in it. It's just a great place to be around, great family place. We moved down here just right before I entered in the sixth grade, and it was a little difficult. I've always been a pretty outgoing guy and been able to fit in pretty well. At first, you know, as far as sports, it was really tough. I uh, didn't really have that chance that I had up in, you know, when I lived in Cottonwood Heights where people knew who I was, that I was an athletic kid, that I could do a lot of things. So when I came down here, I think I felt like I lost a lot of that confidence. At that same time, I think that kind of rubbed off in a little of everything. And, you know, that was just kind of one of those times where you just got to, you know, that's where you kind of find yourself and trying to determine who you are and what you want to be. And I, I felt like I figured that out. It took, a, I feel like, a couple of years, but for the most part, you know, I, I'm glad that I went through that because it's kind of made me who I am today and it makes me understand a lot more people than I probably would have. So it's just one of those times where it stretches you and made me a better person. Coach Lewis Quincy came at the end of my sophomore year, so he was coach me my junior and senior year. Pretty much he just sat me down from day one after seeing me play and just let me know that, you know, I could be all state, I could do all these incredible things, which I thought were a little far outreach. I didn't even play a minute of varsity the year before, so I did the things he told me to work on, I worked on them. My junior year I made all state. Uh, and then once again, he sat me down again, just patted me on the back, and just said, you know what, now you can be Mr. Basketball. Just kind of always pushed me. You know, he kept giving me things to improve on. So once again, I'd go to my stake center, work on those things during the summer, and then the following year, I mean, we won state uh, championship. You know, I, I won Mr. Basketball and got offered a scholarship to BYU. I think the just biggest thing I love, you know, about my family is just, you know, when you, when I'm playing, and I just look up in the stands and I and I see them there, and just knowing that they're supporting me, and it's been all throughout high school, whether it was a sophomore game here or a JV or a varsity game, you know, later on, or, you know, even now at BYU, just looking up, I know where they're going to be, I know where they're sitting, just knowing that support, it, it just, it's just overwhelming, you know, I just can't imagine going to like a home game and not seeing my mom or my dad or you know, my brothers or my sister. So it's just great to have them right there, you know, supporting me and knowing that's my whole career, they've been right there and, you know, they haven't missed out on really anything. <laughs>